We're up at police headquarters and the Isle of Man uh, police scheme for the youth of the Isle of Man has uh, been something that's been in preparation for some time. Mike, we talked about this last year when you were first looking at it and it's come to fruition. Yeah, um, we started last year. Obviously, there's an awful lot of planning into something like this. Um, you know, it's taken us a long time to get to this point, but we are here um, and we're ready to go. I mean, you weren't sure how many people would come forward, but I think you were pleasantly surprised, were you? Very surprised, very pleasantly surprised. Um, we had over 100 applications, um, and it was it was quite a thorough process that we had to choose the individuals who we've got now as cadets. Um, hopefully, they'll stay with us for the next two years. Um, it's a two-year program that we run, um, but the the guys that we've chosen, the, the the young people we've got with us, are yeah, they're they're doing well so far. Okay, well, extra brownie points here because we also volunteer. And Catherine came forward. Uh, tell us about your reason to get involved. Um, my reason to get involved is because when I'm older I'd like to go into the police so it's a really great scheme to get involved in to try and get a taste of what it's going to be like um, for if I did want to actually pursue my career in the police in later life. I have to say you look like the real deal as well. Yes, I do like the uniform, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, where do you think this will take you exactly then? I mean, What career path is it here? Um, I think if after the two years I think I'd have a good chance of getting into the police full time because I've done the course shown my ability and hopefully it'll get me a career. I'm talking to the media, remember to do that, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to teach them anyway? Um, we're going to teach them lots of different things. Basically um, we want to be working in our communities. We want to teach them a little bit about police work um, but it's more about projects. It's more about how we can how we can interact with our community um, and you know Sometimes it doesn't always come best from the older generation like myself. Um, the best people to speak to young people, sometimes young people. Um, now, they're not going to go out on the streets and become policemen, right? <laughs> no, they're not going to be given uh, any pepper spray. They're not going to be given handcuffs <laughs> or batons. Um, I, know we've had, I know we've had police cuts recently, but they're, they're not the, yeah. the fill-in. Um, no, we're there to do community projects. We've got a Kraken um, one organised already this weekend um, on, the, uh, on Saturday down Port Erin where we're going to have a meet and greet with uh, the elderly. Um, in fact, the whole of Port Erin, I think, should come down and have a free coffee, free bit of cake that they're going to cook. I'm not going to make any cakes and uh, come down and meet us. Well, I hope it all goes well. And, and as you probably say on the, on the CV, it's going to look great if you do this, if you do want them to go into the force uh, when they get older. There's no guarantee of, of a position, obviously, at the end of this, but it is going to give them a better understanding of what we do. It's going to give them, um, hopefully, the skills um, that is needed to become a police officer and to be a police officer. Well, you've had a great uptake. What happens now? Will you take some more in next year or is this a two-year scheme now that's running? It's a two-year scheme that's running. Um, it is, unfortunately, we would like to offer it every year, but it's not feasible. It's, 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 so we've, we've got a lot planned in the next two years, so you will be seeing a lot of us around, um, around and about. Um, so there's a lot planned. Watch this space.